Okay, so welcome back, and now we're going to talk about volume. So again, the the unit, uh, the basic unit of measurement for metric for, in the metric system for volume is the liter. Okay, so here are some conversions that you're going to want to know. So for example, one milliliter is the same as one cubic centimeter, and also one milliliter is equal to a thousand microliters, and one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. Again, all you have to do is know the Prefixes, right? So this is micro, just so you know the Greek letter mu, it means micro, so microliter. This is milliliter, right? So, and then obviously cubic centimeters. And so make sure you know these. It'll make things a lot easier. So what if we had something like this? So here's an example. And we had 0.42 liters, and we want to convert it into cubic centimeters, okay? So we can use one or more of these conversion, uh, conversion factors, okay? Uh, we can again we can write it as a unit ratio so let's start so it's 0.24 liters over one and then what unit ratio would you like to use well we could use the fact that one liter is equal to a thousand centimeters right and so we want to go from we want cubic centimeters so we want cubic centimeters on top and we want liters on the bottom so what what is it it's gonna be a thousand cubic centimeters for every one liter. And so then the liters cancel, and we end up with what? A thousand times 0.24, which means we're gonna move the decimal point to the right, three place values. So that means we're gonna have 240 cubic centimeters is our answer. Now, what if we didn't know this? Well, but what if we do? What if we knew um, um, this, right? What if we knew this? Uh, or, or wait a minute. Um, or this. What if we knew this? Okay. So what if we could still get there? It just take us two steps instead of one. So if we had 0.24 liters. And let's say we know, oh, wait a minute, one, uh, one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. Let's start with that. So a thousand milliliters for one liter. Okay, so those cancel. Okay. And then we use, oh, wait a minute, uh, one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. So we can use that. So one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. And so the milliliters cancel. Well, guess what? We get the same answer, right? So it just depends on what you remember. Um, you can get there, okay? So the answer is 240 cubic centimeters. Have a great day.